Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of uh, the trading session for Thursday, the uh, <clears throat> 27th of October 2016. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can certainly download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. And be sure to visit www.tradesignal.com. Okay, this morning, let's try and uh, give you an insight here. Asian markets overnight. Uh, look at the uh, data first of all. Uh, global markets. Asian markets certainly uh, down overnight, although the uh, Nikkei managed to scrape into a gain going into the close. The Shanghai more or less flat, but the Hang Seng certainly negative. So one of the most important aspects is that the Nikkei certainly closed positive after uh, the last few days, certainly closing negative, which is a good sign. Now, the FTSE 100 certainly was off quite uh, substantially before it managed to rally uh, this morning. So I'll go through the data beats. But at present, we currently have the FTSE at 6946, uh, down 0.1%, 0.17%. The DAX down 30 points at 10680. And the French CAC currently uh, trading around the 4510, along with the Euro stocks trading at the lows in the 3060 zone. OK, so economic data has been important. OK. Uh, let's anything overnight, not nothing much, okay, of any importance other than the New Zealand trade data that actually came in stronger than expected. Okay, uh, economic data this morning. Uh, we've had uh, the uh, Spanish unemployment uh, survey certainly coming in stronger than expected. Consumer confidence from Italy more or less in line. Private loans, money supply, not having much of an effect. Okay, I think the major uh, data point this morning has been GDP. Uh, UK GDP coming out much stronger than expected, services coming out stronger, our low construction weaker. Now, that certainly bodes well, given the fact that obviously we have all these Brexit concerns, etc., etc. So it certainly bodes well for the FTSE going forward. Now, we are looking to for looking towards the CBI data out in the next 20 minutes. Then we have uh, US continuing jobless claims, initial jobless claims. So jobs data looks it's going to be very important. Durable goods, again, very important, pending home sales again going to be very important so you are going to see some volatility in the dollar index okay and we have the kansas fed so nothing other than that okay so again keep an eye on the uh, the actual data points from the us in terms of the dollar direction now technicals folks let's uh, let's have a look at exactly where the market is from a technical perspective let's go to the german dax first and foremost german dax again stuck at the 10800 resistance in the daily chart so again that certainly is your reference point uh, 60 minutes chart you can certainly see that we have this potential h &S formation that's been carved out now there's only one problem with that okay uh, earnings earnings this morning again have been have come in on the stronger side before from a uk's perspective we had stronger bt earnings uh, we had barclays certainly beating as well to a large extent okay so they were the key bellwethers there the european markets we had stronger earnings from the likes of volkswagen deutsche bank okay so again uh, uh, certainly uh, certainly coming in on the uh, the bullish side so deutsche bank themselves again um, certainly alleviating concerns with regards to profitability and this potential payment certainly does bode well and it's actually bullish for european equities to a large extent and that's one of the reasons why i'm not expecting this hns formation the german dax to uh, to play out for now the tesla earnings again overnight tesla and texas instruments to uh, major players Certainly coming out with bullish earnings, so again, that's good news. Okay, bullish earnings, good news for the uh, the actual uh, market itself. So again, that certainly is something to take into consideration. If the Nasdaq is certainly stronger, it's going to be very hard for the uh, for the actual uh, German index to start to uh, slide. So just bear that in mind. I think that's going to be quite important. Okay, folks, very very important to uh, to consider as well. So that's something to certainly to bear in mind. OK, now, again, looking at the technical picture, it's going to be very hard for me to uh, or certainly convince me that this h &S formation is going to play out when we have stronger uh, earnings from, from the likes of uh, Deutsche Bank and Volkswagen, the two major uh, fundamental reasons why the European markets have suffered as of late. So, again, certainly will alleviate concerns there and it certainly will be interpreted as being bullish. Now, the German DAX certainly pushed higher, closed the gap. OK, classical technical move and then obviously flushed quite substantially okay euro usd at the moment really is uh, is asleep there's no real major moves on the euro usd that would certainly uh, uh, obviously raise concerns so from my perspective i'm certainly expecting the, the uh, gap field certainly to hold a resistance of 200 ma as well 
So the pivot high here at 10,760, we're going to be in a range. So you're going to see a move higher, then a move lower. So from my understanding, my perspective, certainly play the range, okay? So currently I'm long the uh, NASDAQ, I'm long the FTSE at the moment, okay? Certainly looking for higher prices. I'm also long the, uh, the, the Kiwi as well, Kiwi dollar. Okay, so looking for a move higher. This week, slightly better, 119 points this week thus far. So on the live analysis service, it's slightly better than last week, 60 points. Okay, so again, looking at uh, 10,760 as potential resistance. Okay, folks, so just bear that in mind. Okay, FTSE, oh, let's move on to the CAC. CAC uh, technical position here, going to the daily chart for the French CAC. Again, like I said in my video last night, you are looking at a pivot higher 4570 holding on the uh, the actual french cac so just bear that in mind 60 minute chart you currently have this hns formation which i highlighted yesterday as well again from my perspective very hard for that uh, hns to play out with stronger earnings okay we need another fundamental catalyst that will really flush the market so just bear that in mind 10 minute chart on the french cac we certainly pushed higher I'll certainly update my trend line here. So previous support equals resistance. We actually close the gap as well. We are now back into support on the French CAC. So certainly looking for a pop here. Certainly wouldn't uh, be uh, earning on the side of bearishness. Certainly will be a bull at this juncture. Okay, hence the reason why I'm long at present. Okay, uh, the FTSE 100. Let's give you an update on the FTSE. Let's just bring this up for you. Go to the daily chart first and foremost. We already know previous resistance equals support. So the FTSE 100 at present is into a key, key support zone. Okay. Let's go to the 60 minute chart on the FTSE 100. Interesting scenario here, folks. Okay, so you certainly have support around this uh, 4930 down to 4920 zone. Okay, we certainly did. Uh, I mean, that's one hell of a move. Look at that move above 7000, knocked out stops, and then in reverse quite powerfully. So interesting. Uh, for now, you clearly have resistance, previous res support equals resistance at 6986, and then you have previous support equals resistance at 7007. So certainly looking for that uh, resistance level to hold. Okay, and certainly looking for a bounce here on the FTSE as well. Back up to the, uh, I won't be surprised if we went back up to 6970, 6980 again. Okay, but then I would certainly exercise caution. Okay, folks, certainly exercise caution. Now moving on to the 10 minute chart. Now from my perspective, you clearly have a, a double bottom here. Okay, so you made a higher high. So now you're looking for a higher low. I was expecting the FIB 75% to hold. I actually went in around the 6952. So I'm just a long FTSE 6952. Currently, you went against me quite substantially. I mean, at one point, it was at 6934. So impressive. Okay, very, very impressive. But certainly looking for a higher high. If not a higher high, at least a double top. At least we reach the 7000 level again. So it's going to be interesting, especially with stronger GDP. It should be very interesting, especially with the Aussie and Kiwi now into support as well. Dollar into resistance. It's going to be interesting to see what, uh, what the next move here is. Okay, but my bias is bullish. Okay, next uh, potential indices is the Euro stocks, last but not least, as always. Okay, so again, just need to be cognizant of this HS formation, which I highlighted last night's video. Okay, just need to be very, very careful with this HS formation. If we start to see a spike in the Euro, then uh, it certainly will uh, increase the uh, chances of this HS playing out. But for now, stronger earnings from Volkswagen, Deutsche Bank, very, very hard. Okay, very hard for this HS to play out, from my understanding and my perspective okay certainly looking for higher prices okay i think that's uh, that's a wrap be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that bonus goodbye now.